Doug Williams' performance in Super Bowl XXII is what dreams are made of. Play action, fake. Williams going up top. Got Sanders on the fly. Midfield. He's gone. The 30, the 20, the 15, the 10. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. It was a performance that you could make a movie about. Nobody believe it. Williams, the pass, lobs it up. He's got Clark at the goal line. He's got it. This was a, just a backup guy. And then he comes in and he does that? That was remarkable. Even more remarkable is how much our number one Super Bowl performer had to overcome to put the Redskins in position to win. That game was a soap opera. It looked for a moment that once again things were going to go very badly for the Redskins. Can you believe that? In one play, the Broncos are up. Well, the Redskins are stunned. Trailing 10 0, Washington got its biggest scare from its own quarterback. Did you see him twist his leg when he went down? Doug Williams has got to have a sore leg. Oh, no. When Doug goes down, you're thinking, oh, it's over. He, he's not coming back. And we all thought, uh-oh, it's going to be Schrader. So here comes Schrader. There was no way that day that Jay Schrader was going to play. Washington's offense is back on the football field, and so is number 17, Doug Williams. He came back into the game, and boom. Well, Doug Williams and company light it up, and they're back in this game. Hard to realize that Denver was on top 10 to nothing. What a turnaround. We are seeing a virtuoso performance. I was just absolutely amazed at the precision with which he ran that offense. He's got Sanders in the clear at the 10. Touchdown. Second quarter was delightful. A monster quarter for Washington. His second quarter was absolutely perfection at the quarterback position. It's a new Super Bowl record. Four touchdowns in one quarter. It's like calling a fireworks display. You know, they just kept scoring and scoring and scoring. I'm flabbergasted at what Washington's doing to Denver this quarter. It became a slaughter. 322 yards in a quarter. That's one of those no-moss games. This is a fight, they might stop it. The second half was like covering a funeral. If you're a Denver fan, that ain't a pretty sight. Our number one performer finished with 340 yards passing to go along with his Super Bowl record four touchdown passes in one quarter. One of the greatest feats, not only in the history of Super Bowls, but in the history of sports. Doug Williams, he is having a dream day for a quarterback. Doug Williams, Super Bowl 23, clearly the greatest performance in the history of Super Bowl. Not even close. He was a black quarterback breaking down the racial bear for winning the Super Bowl. The first black quarterback to start a Super Bowl, the first black quarterback to win a Super Bowl. Playing for all the people that have gone before him, the Marlon Briscoe, the James Harris, the Joe Gillians, he had to fulfill all those expectations. And he came up with one of the great Super Bowl performances. I think that's a big part of why he's number one. You can justify Doug Williams' place on this list any number of ways. I think you take the numbers, I think you, think you take the circumstance, you take the fact the team was down at the time, I think it has no peer. And the statement he made by the way he played, I think is, it's one that's unique, and it's one that I think should be cherished. His warm smile and soft eyes hid the fact that nothing ever came easy for Williams, dating back to his days in Tampa, when he yearned for acceptance as a black quarterback. A lot of people just not ready to accept the fact that a black quarterback is, is playing in the National Football League. And, you know, it's nothing that you could do anything about, I could do anything about. It's just that a lot of people just not ready to accept it. Williams led the Buccaneers to the playoffs in three of his five seasons, but never got the respect he deserved. Those kind of guys have seen a lot of things and been through some rough things and can lead you through other things. Gibbs had coached Williams for a season in Tampa, so he appreciated his talent and tenacity and knew this backup quarterback could perform if called upon. I've always been ready to play. I never considered myself as a backup. From an emotional standpoint, I was elated to get the opportunity to play.